Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, yes, sir. here's Victor Allen's New New Sports. Ah, I feel good. We get a break today because Brenda doesn't have to listen to the regular intro that you say she would be embarrassed sitting next to you if she heard it all. So no. thank you, Brenda, for being here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Here we go, you guys. You know, they announced already the big deal is, is that the NBA season is going to be shortened. Two weeks off the regular season schedule. So what that means is, for a lot of people, they don't really care right now because they got the Major League Baseball playoffs. They also have, of course, football. My, now, Donald, I know you're going to be with me on this one. For Los Angelinos, it affects us differently. You know why? Because we have no football. Yeah. And our baseball is already out to lunch. Yeah. So are we going to be impacted more so Yes. As it relates to the NBA, because we are in Laker town, I mean, right? The only thing that Boo we got going for us now is hockey. <laughs> and we don't do much hockey. Right. We don't do hockey. We're not, a, we're not a hockey town. But for us not to go see the Lakers at all, That's we have no. What's our alternative sports? Go Watch to a movie. This. Watch Mario. Spend time at home with your family. Listen to Brenda Lee Eggers' That's music. <laughs> See, I do and it. Don't, and don't worry about the Lakers for a change. You see, this is not endorsing sports. Watch Brenda. Dancing with the Stars. Watch this. I bet you any money. Brenda, I bet you any money that there's a sport that you are into more so than the next sport. If there was one, is it basketball, football, well, baseball? Number one is basketball, and then second would be baseball. Six. Okay, so you're going to miss the Lakers, right? Of course. See? And you're a Laker fan, right? Oh, yes. That man sitting next to you is not a Laker fan. So I'm now, not a Laker <laughs> hater either. I just, you know, when they say Lakers to me, Brenda, it has to do with the old school versus the new school. I'm an old Laker fan, I and I have trouble sometimes with the new Lakers because I'm an old Laker fan. <laughs> like Magic, you know, I go back to Jerry West. Yes, right? me too. <laughs> okay, <laughs> see? So, you know, that's me why. Too. So I have a Laker period in there. It's just, you know. Yeah, okay. I, I still am loyal to them. I, I do like them. Um, I like most of the players on, on the team. Yeah, see? So she's at what we call a friendly endorser. So for us mm -hmm. who are advocates of championships, mm -hmm. when you remove the Lakers, it's a big deal, right? Man, now, that's true. That's I, true. Now watch this. Here's the question. The teams that I think are going to be affected by this, because, you know, you always look at where the money's going and the merchandising is going. Los Angeles, Miami, Chicago. I think more even Boston may or may not be included. How about are, Detroit? Well, watch this. The part that I'm going to get to is, are, are they up to losing more because of the merchandising? You know, those are big markets. We're in a big market. Other teams, whether well, say Sacramento, they don't stand to lose as much, right? So is, is it unequal that the hurt and the pain is going to be dished out from a lack of games being played because each game is a revenue stream? Yeah, Who's going to hurt fair. the most? I thought there was revenue sharing, too, though, because part of the whole thing is that a bunch of it goes into a pool. And then the people in the league sharing it because the whole idea was sort of to lessen the impact yeah. of folks who operate in a smaller market like Sacramento right. versus someplace like Los Angeles. But the, but the question is, are you guys going to go into withdrawals or not? Oh, come on. Oh, 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 oh I, yeah. I tell you what. Donald just, says he's going to go into yeah, withdrawals. Yeah, of course he is, because why? Go on, what, why? Because, one, that's my team. I love Basketball. I'd rather watch basketball than football. Whoa. Period. Whoa. Okay. And, okay. and it's like the alternate will be the Clippers. But, hey, we ain't got nine one of them. Go, okay. Now, here's the part. Now, this is, this is what I want to say. This is the interesting part. Everybody talks about there's too many regular season games, right? If there are too many regular season games, let's just say in a perfect world that – now, I'm going to say this because it's a, it's, it's a competition. There's 162 games in baseball, and there were 82 games in uh, basketball. Right. Is it possible that our regular season schedule is too long? And if so, if it's too long and you had to reduce the amount of regular season games. 62. Dude, you're good. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, he hit 62. There Mark. should be 48 games. 48. Now, watch this, Brenda. <laughs> I'm not sure because I love, I love watching the games. It's 62 now? Yeah, 82. 
Or 82. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I kind of agree with you. Oh. 62 games. That sounds games. like a good number, I guess. Yeah. 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 I mean, that, 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 that goes without spilling over into somebody else's sport. Exactly. Because at one time you had, like, hockey, then you had basketball, you had football, then you had baseball. Now it's all bl- yeah. blended in. You got, like, three sports at one, at one time. Right. Before the end of the season, you've got another. Yeah, they need to shorten all of them so everybody can yeah. have their turn of, you know, Getting a getting a game on. No, Don't empty. forget the WNBA. Yeah, we just had that right. championship. Just seeing the good thing that Mario just brought up is something here because I'm not, I'm not going to go ahead of that. But I was about to give you guys three choices on how many games. You hit one of the choices I had written down. So I had if you had to shorten the games, if you were given a choice, 42, 50, or 62 season game. You said 62. Yeah. Mario, how many games? Would you want it to stay at 82? I'll go with Donald because he's the wizard. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> 62. 62. Yeah. I think Brenda's going to agree. Isn't yes, she? I did already. Yeah. Yes, okay. All right. Okay. So so the bottom line is is that right now, bottom line is nobody's feeling the pain on basketball. You know why? Because football. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So nobody's care, nobody cares about it yet, right? No. no. We, we, yeah, we, right. The whole no. thing about that is, they just can't off the lockout, so we we glad to, to see something. Yeah. <laughs> it'll, it'll allow you more time, quality time with your significant others, I perhaps to go shopping. See, I knew he was going to do Or this. do those holiday decorations see what we he's all doing? love see, to do so but, much. But you know what? I would extend football <laughs> five days. <laughs> right. I like you, would man. you say that? I would extend football at least five more games. I knew you would. I know you would. To tell you the truth, mm-hmm. why is it football only have 16 regular season games? What's the purpose of Major League Baseball having 162 games? Because it's not a physical sport. They oh, just hitting the be ball. Ca- be careful, man. Be careful. It's a lot of. They fun. have to run and jump. Run and jump. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody asked you to jump into the wall, man. <laughs> Make that ball come. <laughs> okay. Oh. Now we have a baseball fan sitting right next to uh, Mario. Who's okay. your Who's your favorite baseball team, Brenda? Hmm. She got a couple. Drum roll, please. I know. She's thinking carefully. I bet she's not the Dodgers. I'm going to just be quiet. I know. It, I know. <laughs> okay. All right. Not, not a problem. I don't mind. I, I you know, Look, I don't mind. Go ahead. You, I know you have a favorite team. Second favorite team. Chicago. Yeah, I would say. I, I would know. say Chicago. All right. All right. Mario. But I like Peyton Manning and all those guys. Oh yeah, he's yeah. talking to football now. Oh, I got sorry, this. No, no, that's okay. Oh, yeah. No, that's okay. No, it's that's okay. That's good enough. That's good enough. Mario, what's your second favorite baseball team? Watch this. Whoever the Dodgers are playing. Let's see. See what I'm oh. saying? He's a I Dodger don't follow hater. baseball. Yeah, he's a you Dodger hater. It's, it's, <laughs> you know, the pants are too tight. <laughs> okay, d- d- that's right. part of the whole thing. <laughs> that's all right, Donald. Way too tight. You, who's your second, man? <laughs> My second? Yeah. I almost had to say uh, San Francisco. San, yeah, off the chain. Yeah. Okay, good, good. All right, all right, good. I had to get through that. Now, get why I'm doing we made this. made it. I have to find out, really, <laughs> to me, what's happening now, because who's watching what. So out of all the games that's now happening with Major League Baseball mm-hmm. in the playoffs, right. NFL football, and NBA about to come up, whatever the case may be, and you have some other sports that's out there, I have to find out what's more popular. And so I'm going to pit two conditions here, and you let me know. Because you got to be careful when you make this choice because a lot of people watch one particular sport here. But you here. said the most uh, popular more, right now. Right now, I'm going to say right now, more, more popular right now, the NFL regular season football games or the Major League Baseball playoffs. Football. Now, uh, not, well, you, are you sure? I'm telling you, football you, you, right now. Are, are you, now, Major League Baseball is in their playoffs the, the, right the now. The playoff season compared to regular football season, football is. More popular for More you. More popular for you. This everybody. You think so, Mario? Yeah. The statistics are there. That's right. Baseball has really had a major decline, especially yeah. in Afri- African American segments of society. Right. They have a, they actually are getting players to go out there try to encourage the young black kids to play baseball. Yeah. Because they don't play it. It's not their sport. So mm-hmm. baseball's having an issue. Actually, much more popular in foreign mm-hmm. countries now. Yeah, and you're seeing more of that that imprint. If, if you look at the sports right now, on every team, the majority of the people on that on the on every team, they all talk with a very strong accent. Accent. Latin. Colombian, right. Dominican Republic. That's where it's very China, big, right? China, That's right. You know right. what I mean? Right. That's right. I mean, 
Well, y'all can have baseball. We just gonna run over and do this basketball and this football. Y'all come on over here. They have a lot of very good food now, Donald. (laughs) You know what? You go to the baseball (laughs) parks, they have a lot of wonderful food. See what he's doing? They have, you know, all kind of uh, delicious steaks, shrimp, (laughs) tacos, chicken. You can really eat good at the baseball park today. And you know what? (laughs) This is what, I just want you to know. That's Brenda, a reason to go. Yeah, see, you notice, Brendan, <laughs> when we have the stars like yourself on, and then we talk about certain things, uh-huh. everybody's really involved. The comedy, we support that. Yeah. Get to my sports and my business partner. <laughs> and when I'm talking sports, talks about food. He relates every subject to food. <laughs> okay, I get no food, dialogue. Food and sex, and I'm <laughs> trying to be respectful. I get no dialogue. Cooperation. Pretty much it. That's all good, isn't That's it? That's how men are: food, sex, and sleep. Okay. All right. Well. <laughs> Let me just help them. Not, basic- not necessarily in that order. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, let me just ha- let me find out because I do I do follow baseball. It is good mm-hmm. when it's in the playoffs. But I'm gonna say this: uh, there are some factors that you know baseball could be suffering. You don't have Boston in the playoffs. You don't have the Yankees in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. So if if it is down, don't have Anaheim in there. Right, yeah, if, if, San, if, San Francisco. Right. If it's down, you tell me the reason why you think it's down or declining. Mario had a good point when he said, you know, it's suffering right now. But here's some categories, and you let me know. Mm-hmm. Uh, one is home runs are down, and that may be the steroid campaign to eliminate the steroids. Mm-hmm. So all of a sudden, you see home runs not even hitting the 50s. You, you know, they're right. way down in the 40s, mid 40s. There's no controversy in sports right now. Big names not in playoffs, meaning the big cats that you always hear about mm-hmm. is not there. No bad boy team in the playoffs. You got to have a team that you hate, right? Right. Mm-hmm. All right. What about Yankees and Boston's out of playoffs? Like I said before. So if there's a major factor why you guys feel that baseball is not as popular or declining, is it one of these factors I mentioned? And Donald, you go first, man. Steroids, no more 75 hit <laughs> home run games. You ain't got nobody out there trying to fight as much. Uh, and then, as far yeah. as as far as yeah. the, the the major teams that playing right now, right. the favorites are not there. Yeah, so it's nobody. You Everybody remember. right now is pretty much like the underdog. Wow. You know okay. What I mean? Okay. I mean, I love it when they kick the Yankees out anyway. Yeah, yeah. I knew. I knew they was gonna do that, man. Yeah, they Boston. Just, they could have had a different. You know. But, but you love to have you love to have them because you know their names. Yeah, you go by their uh, names if you go Rodriguez, Jeter. Yeah. Right yeah. now, there's a playoff team. If I say any team right now, what player do you follow? Even if you don't follow, is there a name right with the final four teams that you recognize? None. See, this is the bad part, Mario. Uh, what because I've never well, watched Dan one of them teams. <laughs> that's the, that is part of it. No controversy. Perhaps they should tweet a body part picture. I knew it. <laughs> see here. See, br- br- uh, get <laughs> caught with a see? famous see? celebrity. See, see. I mean, you got to do something. <laughs> yeah. You know, I you know I would start instigating if I was them some controversies. Oh, yeah, you know, you what? could do some basic. You know, the basic <clears throat> stuff. Yeah. yeah. But, Seen with, caught with. Well, you know those kinds of things. Since Brenda there's, is there's a, no gossip. There's no. No bad mouth and no gossip right now. That's right. I mean, it's so bland. It's like you know having a a a, a, a sunny side up egg with no salt. Oh man, you know no you guys. Pepper. You guys are talking about Brenda Sport now. You gotta be get Brenda. Not that much now. Come on, <laughs> get, you go back to basketball. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, but I'm gonna ask you a question, Vic. Yeah. Uh, as far as football. Why are they putting so much emphasis on these so-called super quarterbacks? I knew you were gonna go with the what quarterbacks. What is wrong with these people? Because they're the they're the all they're the snakehead. You start with the quarterback. He's the he defines the culture of the team. He, they wrap it around him, and you can't help it. Women probably deal with that man who's mental, the head in charge, the whole as Brenda. Women love leaders. See? <laughs> <laughs> now, Mario, now, Mario, he's been a football player back in his day. Mario, what position did you play? Middle linebacker, not an offensive tackle. I went both ways. Oh, well, oh, remember when he said that? Okay. <laughs> okay. For those, I, of you, I take a that those of you in San Francisco, <laughs> don't get excited. <laughs> okay. I played offense and defense. You okay. know, so and back in those days, many people did play two offense way. and, and, and yeah. defense. Two way. In fact, there even were some famous people even in the pros right. in the early days. Right. Who who did it? Jim Thorpe and some of the other people played, you know, both sides. Right. Mm. 
Definitely. Well, what, did, what you think about the, the back in the day when everybody, well, not everybody, but them, them few cats that figured they thought they was like multiple superstars to where they want to play football and basketball and baseball? They, no, yeah. Hard to do, you know, and even harder to do today. You know, that's why we celebrate them. Bo Jackson, right? He was, you know, he was the one who really yes. did it well. Yes. Yeah. Who actually did it well. Uh, he was he and, was a man among boys. And he known for also running over. Yes. Uh, uh, Everybody. Famous <laughs> linebacker. Bosworth. The, yeah, Brian Bosworth. The right. Boz. Yes. Who effectively ended his career at that Early. time. Yeah. No, but really it's, it's amazing. In today's world, so much harder to do. Uh, to do in multiple sports, even though you you wonder about some of the folks, because in college they still do it to some degree. Right. Yeah. Uh, basketball and some of the guys who play tight end, right. some of the other positions were skilled basketball players. Yeah. In college, but hard to do on a professional level. I don't know. Yeah. I, I think Jordan killed that. You think so? Yeah. That was the last one. Uh, yeah, very last one. <laughs> I, you, you, I know. Well, see, <laughs> that's so hard, man. You know, Mark, Donald. That's like you being, uh, you know. Ladies' man, mm. and then you got to be a ladies' man, and then you have to live longer. You have to pick up two women on your shoulders. They expect more from you. I mean, those requirements, is that fair? That you have to be able to lift two women at the same time. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You talking about my two daughters? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, back to it. Here's the thing, you guys. I, I can't really get in too much to... The baseball thing is much because the reason why is I really think you guys are all right. One is there's no controversy, number one. There is no branding of names, um, no home runs. And if you do watch baseball, there's a lot of enthusiasts who said, I would rather watch a no-pitch game than to see a whole bunch of home runs. Actually, that's a lot. It was quite a bit of that this yes. year. Yes, it was. And, Great pitching. Uh, the, like the, the, the pitching stop for Milwaukee. Right. Was crazy. Is, and, and look, now see, you just, <laughs> so here's the thing. The only person I know with Mo, Mo, Milwaukee that I follow is Braun. Well, I follow Fielder too. Right. Yeah. So the problem is, is that they're nice guys. So you don't have anybody that you could turn around and get that quick moment where you get a sound bite. So if you watch journalism right now, they're really not covering. They're covering the football and the quarterbacks like you guys have already alluded to. Oh. So, you know, to answer your question, they're, mm. they're just a little bit more popular, dude. Yeah. You I'll go for that. All right. Now, I waited for this diagram to come up real quick because I want you guys to always think that you have to be thankful about what's coming up in November. It's Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Right. You guys say you do follow football, right? Yeah. If you follow football, there's a tradition that happens. Detroit on Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> I don't worry, worry. You oh, the worst football you. day of the whole year. <laughs> see, see, I see, don't look, know about this year. Look at, they, they cut off the chain this year. You know, man. You, Detroit has some kind of a deal that goes back where they get to always be shown on Thanksgiving, and it's some I, deal that goes way back. I guess that goes with some Dallas of the worst Saint football, <laughs> man. Yeah, some of the worst football ever. Thanksgiving, see, see, with he, Detroit, he's already there. But now, this year's different. Well, see, this is the part where I'm saying, and it, for the, for for those of you who are the first time here, I call this "Do you believe?" And when you do, do you believe? It's just another way of saying here's Thanksgiving coming up. And usually, Mario, friends of ours, we tend to go, go find other things to watch when Detroit plays. So I have. Charlie Brown <laughs> and oh, the Peanuts. Yay. Yeah. You see, Brenda, you following me on this one, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> see? So, but it's changed this year. Why? Because Detroit is undefeated. It's so, got to be a game worth watching. <laughs> right. Oh, because the yeah, oh, first come on, time bro. in like 20 years. Come on, man. I'm, I'm asking you a question. Go ahead. If, if, if I might be wrong. Is the other team undefeated too? Yeah, Green Bay. Yeah, yeah, but they're in the same division. They'll play each other. We're not worried about that. That makes it a better event, <laughs> right? <laughs> See, now here's the now here's the thing. Uh, I'm gonna find out where you guys really reside because I really think some fakers are in the room, uh-huh. and you guys are not gonna tell the truth. We're gonna find out. I keep it 100. Man. I know, I know, you keep it 100. I lie <laughs> when necessary. All right. See, don't trust the one truth, over there. Truth is overrated. Uh, yeah. See, see, Mario's not into the fact toys. He's he's Sometimes already. Sometimes he gonna give you what you want. <laughs> no, he's gonna right. He's going whatever you think is coming from it ain't coming yeah. okay yeah, it's not coming <laughs> all right here we go all right do you believe for the first time on thanksgiving you will choose to watch the detroit lions game over charlie brown and the peanuts mario you first i didn't know i have to choose between charlie brown and the peanuts that's kind of hard man 
<laughs> Come on, man. Man, it that is Charlie Brown. That's Charlie Brown, man. Longtime favorite. Detroit undefeated. Lucy, sexy, and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Schroeder, <laughs> hell of a pianist. That's my man. That's your man. Tell you. So I don't know, dude. I tell you what. I'm going to watch Charlie Brown and then finish up with Detroit. Oh, no. No, you know what? Brenda, you don't believe that, do you? It's Charlie Brown. I was going to say almost the same thing I'd start with. I'd start with Detroit. I'd start with the game. And then I would flip over. Yeah. <laughs> in the first quarter. <laughs> to Charlie Brown. There That's you right. Go. You got to get some Charlie Brown in there. <laughs> it, it wouldn't be Thanksgiving. No. Uh, That's right. Without Charlie Brown. Yeah. Without Charlie Brown. So, so both of you are telling me, Charlie Brown, you get to watch the full cartoon episode of Charlie Brown and half part of the football, right? Yeah, it's half an hour. All right, yes. all right. Yeah, I, Donald. Yep. I, I, got, I can't wait to hear your answer, dude. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kind of nervous. I'm going to watch the second half of the football game. What about the first half? No, nah, I'll be doing something else. No Charlie Brown. No Charlie. Man, we on team, man. You and I on team. <laughs> we the second team. half is when the choice <laughs> takes over. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. One more and we get to get out of here to Mario's favorite segment. We, uh, this is uh, the last do you believe. One, one, go one ahead. Before we go there. Yeah. Why are they doing your boy Vic like that? Who? The, the <laughs> offensive line. <laughs> it's, called, it's called overrated. Oh, overrated. Are you talking about the Philadelphia Eagles? Yes, he is. Yeah, the offensive line. It seemed like they just letting them go back there and just. Have you ever had a cheesesteak? <laughs> See, I knew it. See? A Philadelphia yeah. cheesesteak. <laughs> they, they're not practicing. They're, they're, they're eating they're those fit cheesesteaks, steaks. man. They're getting. That's his, and those pretzels are so dead. Now they're constipated. <laughs> you know, he's they're not what? getting no roughage in uh, Philadelphia. You know what? I can tell you this much. I can, you. T- I can tell you this much. <laughs> Uh-huh. Because when you, it seemed like they're doing it on purpose. Okay. No, no, no. What they got, they did the right hand and the left hand. They gave you the right hand, Donald, mm-hmm. by telling you, here's all the players that we drafted mm-hmm. or acquired. But they didn't have you focus on the players at hand. Right. Philadelphia had a problem last year with their line, which caused Vic in the last half of the season to do a lot of scrambling. His right. first half was good, but they caught up with him. They, right. they, they schemed. needed Kalanick. You know what, so, so, you know, so, you're wrong. They need a cleansing, a cleansing. At the beginning of this yeah, you know year, what? It's all that Velveeta. Yeah. You know what, Mario? Hey, eat all that cheese. We, we, I got I to got, I got give one That's more thing. See, see, uh-huh. see, see why you're not going to follow this? <laughs> see, you're, you're talking to me, and he uh-huh. wants to talk about cheese. If, if, That's if Philadelphia. I had, if I had Linnell here, everything okay. be cool. Everything hoagies. Be cool. They talk about a hoagie. <laughs> they still eating sandwiches. Okay. You know, them hoagies are pretty good. Sometimes pronounced sandwich. Oh, you guys need to get a life. All right. <laughs> Except Brenda. <laughs> Except Brenda. <laughs> okay. Last one going out. Do you believe? Do you believe Tiger Woods? Hot dog food launch at him during the Fries.com tournament is just the first of a number of pork products coming his way this year. If, yes. You think it's, it's one of many. Yes. <laughs> one of many. You, yeah. think, you think they're going to toss more food at him? Yeah. Yes. The next wow. one is going to be a, wow. a, a wow. mustard pretzel. No, chalupa. You know that big beef, all beef chalupa? <laughs> you see what happens there? You see what they're happens? They're going to go to Taco <laughs> It's a lot cheaper to throw Taco Bell than it is to throw Doritos. So I'll be see. Taco Bell. So no Tiger, no tiger love in no, the house. No, no, wait a minute. Wait. No. Let me just stop before yeah, you guys go grade. somewhere. But you know. <laughs> but look, it tripped me so. He finally started doing good. And as soon as he threw a dog out, he messed it up. I know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me stop. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me do this. Brenda, do you follow Tiger Woods? Not, not like I used to. Ah, uh, so you jumped off. Why are you still but, mad, aren't you? But, like, let me just say, <laughs> I am still a Tiger Woods fan. Okay. All the ladies. I, I really hope that he really rebounds and mm-hmm. comes back. And I think... That uh, for me, you know, all is forgiven. Anytime someone grows up and be the player that Tiger is, um, we we've all made some horrible mistakes in our lives. Oh yeah, and mm-hmm. I think a lot of this, you know, I understand women so much that, um, and I understand men too. And sometimes when you grow up and not be um, Streetwise, mm-hmm. <laughs> you can be influenced very easily. Uh-huh. Short skirt. There you go. It's a whole thing, and you know you want to try things. I think I think Tiger might might have just wanted to 
He bit that apple, man. Do his, do his, <laughs> do his things that he hadn't done before. It's uh-huh. sowing his seeds like, you know, y'all know how to do uh-huh. early in the game. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Sooner or later in your life, you're going to do that. It's going to blow up in your face. Uh, it's gonna, that's right. <laughs> Just like the rest of us. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but you're going to do it, you know? Yeah. You're going to do it. Yeah. Boom! So, I think by the time Tiger is like, four, I don't know how old he's now. Is he 40 yet? He's, he's 30-ish. Yeah. By the time he's 40, 44. Mm-hmm. That's a good number. Mm-hmm. The man's going to be incredible. Back that's when you, that's what you learn by. It takes about... That's what I'm saying. See, about 40. It, it, yeah. takes, it so, takes a minute to learn. Just yeah, about right. time when it's failing anyway. But you know what I heard about this, 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 uh, uh, this golf? Yeah. I heard normally, and, and I don't know if it's just true or not, this is just something I heard. But when you get to like in between 32 to 38, you fall off. All of them fell off the game in between that age. Yes. Well, it's common with yeah. athletes, you guys. It look is. at it. For those of you who haven't gotten there, <laughs> who don't have the wisdom that comes with getting older, <laughs> things change. Say it. <laughs> okay. Say it. And, she, and you know what? Brenda things says change. Brenda says something with, that no one used the term because they usually don't want to use the term because they think, well, you know, you're a different group. It's not used that way. She mm-hmm. said when he be, when he got to taste the street, you mm-hmm. know, and there mm-hmm. is a street cred. It ha- you can drive over the same boulevard, Wilshire, no matter where you come come from. It's still right. the street. And she she alluded to something. Says you know a lot of us get so our oats at different times. And when you come from a different lifestyle, mm-hmm. something became available to him to take full advantage of. Exactly. And I you hit the nail on the head. There's some street wise he got mm-hmm. wise with, and he tried to run with. That's it. right. So I, I appreciate that you putting that. Just say no. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> she How said, can you? How can you? Hard. Hard. stuff is hard. That just, to say is no. it right? Hey, that just like uh, 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 Christina Applegate learning how to strip dance at the mall. Okay, you're right. You're no. You're right though. And, 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 and it, it just ain't gonna work. It's sometimes. <laughs> so, you know what? The microscope. You know, if the microscope yeah. was under us, yeah. A lot of us go with our swag, uh, you know, our swag and yeah. our swerve. Right, yeah. And we know that the microscope is not on us, and we can roll like that, and we can go. Mm-hmm. Opinions are just opinions, but when everybody's on you, yeah, and they're watching everything, it's a little different game. You got to be careful. Yeah, that means that you got to, you know, yeah. go to the house, get you a couple of movies, yeah. get yeah. you a couple of gallons of Hennessy. You rock. <laughs> couple <laughs> gallons. Gallons. gallons? No gallons. All right, you guys. Hey, there's some things <laughs> you just had to experience. <laughs> yes, we're going. Everybody, well, hey, I'm that was it. Victor Allen's new new sports. New, new sports. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Hot and sexy, Victor Allen's own unique sports. Look, take a look, everybody. Be there tomorrow for new news sports with Vic.